Hey guys, so it's our vlog from Baikal. I think we should start in here even though it's the fourth day, but I think it's the best beginning. So enjoy the video. So guys, we're gonna be packing this bag right now. Hi. I hope you don't mind the neighbors because they're gonna produce some horrible sounds sometimes because they're renovating something. So we're gonna pack our bag for Baikal right now and I hate packing. If you have been following my blog for a long time, you know this for sure because every time I go somewhere, I always tell everybody that I hate packing and today is not an exception. Even though today's a bit easier because I'm traveling with the group and the tour guide, she just sent us a checklist of things that we need to take with us, which makes the packing process a lot more simple because I don't need to focus on the beauty of the things that I'm taking. I just need to focus on their functionality and on their worth. That's the key factor. So the key thing that I need to focus on. So hopefully it's going to be easier. So let's take a look at the things that I'm taking. So why am I taking just this tiny bag? First of all, I was too greedy to pay extra for the luggage. So I'm just gonna get a carry on. This is the bag that I'm allowed to take with me on the plane. And secondly, I don't have to pack so many things this time because I'm gonna be pretty much wearing one and the same thing every single day. So we're gonna start off with uh, the set of thermal underwear. I actually have two pairs. One pair, it's a pair, it's already one. So I have two of them, <laughs> two sets of uh, thermal underwear. A gray one. A classic one and I have the same one in pink and I have already worn this one before so it's pretty cool I mean it's cheap I bought this one for like less than 2,000 rubles and um, I'm just gonna get two of them in case I get sweaty probably I will because it's like a difficult trip so two sets of those I'm gonna put everything inside later because uh, I still don't know like how I'm gonna put everything inside, I'm gonna organize everything. Right now I'm just counting the things that I need. So these are two sets of thermal underwear. That's a belt from the bag. I'm also taking this fleece top. So you can see how small this one is and it doesn't take up a lot of space, but it's super warm. And hopefully it's gonna keep me very warm during my trip. I have another fleece top, just in case. This one is also really cool, it's by Nike. I bought it actually to go jogging in the morning which I never do, of course, but I go hiking once a year, so that's when I need this. I'm also gonna take this beautiful balaclava. I like this word a lot. Let's take a look at how it fits. I think it suits me. Like, look at this. Wow, this is, this is what I call beauty. This is amazing. I don't know why I want this shit gonna be beautiful. Oh, let's take this off. I'm getting hot. It's really, it's really warm in this one. And it's also white. I like the white color. Okay, so up next we have uh, these beautiful mittens. And uh, I'm actually gonna wear one some uh, on my way to Baikal. And I'm gonna pack an extra pair because I know that I'm gonna play snowballs and I'm gonna just fall around like, you know, on the ice, just <laughs> roll around on the ice and uh, probably gonna need to change my my mittens too. It looks like a black roll of something, but these are actually skiing pants and they're so cool because they're really warm and um, they don't take up a lot of space either. So that's really convenient. I'm still not sure if I'm gonna wear them uh, on my way there or if I'm gonna put them back. Depends on, depends on how I... Can you stop interrupting me? So I'm taking the pants. Then my friend also gave me this thing. I have no idea what it is, but this is the kind of thing that you are supposed to put in your head. I will show you. So it's like a scarf or it's a snood. Oh my God, <laughs> doesn't fit. Oh, it does, that's okay. So you're supposed to wear it like this. So it's, uh, it's used instead of a scarf. Oh, I'm gonna look awful in this video, in this part of the video. So you can wear this one instead of a scarf. So again, it's not as huge as a scarf is, uh, but this one is much better. And you can also, if you feel cool, like you can just put it like this. And uh, maybe I don't need to wear a little claw in the end. I can just wear this beautiful scarf. Oh, I'm gonna have lots of pimples after this trip. 
So I'm taking this too. Uh, so I also bought a set of thermal socks made of dogs. I hope it's a lie. I hope it's not real dog wool. But um, I have to do everything to make my feet feel warm and not sweat at the same time. Of course, I'm taking a jacket. I would love to show you this one. Oh, I can actually show you this one and then I can show you how I folded this one because it's, it's actually art. So I love this jacket. The moment I saw it, I think I look like a cool girl who likes snowboarding and uh, mountain skiing, which, uh, which I don't. Uh, but I think it's gonna look cool in the photos. So that's why I bought this one. Really excited to take lots of photos in this jacket. And of course, I'm not gonna package it inside the bag. I'm gonna wear this. Uh, on me, like when I go to the airport. Thank God that it's AP, it's also kind of cold. So I can wear a jacket. Oh, it's so soft. It's so soft, can't wait to spend an entire week in this beautiful jacket. I'm also taking special glasses because uh, yeah, you know, it's like it's Baikal, it's cold, who cares about the sun? But no, the sun is actually very dangerous over there. At least I was told. So I have the special glasses given to me by one of my students. So you see, they do not only cover my eyes, but also like the, the sides. So the sun doesn't get like anywhere. So I, I don't get blind. And uh, I also think they look kind of cool. So I'm keeping those. Of course, I'm gonna return them to my student. I'm just lying, but I like those. One more thing, I also bought an SPF. That's another thing we need glasses for the sun and an SPF too, because I was told that the sun is like very, very hard on you in the trip. So I decided to go with Art and Fact. I think they should pay me for advertising them because I've advertised them in two videos already and I have only two videos. So that's basically it. I'm also gonna take a small backpack with me with the stuff that I'm gonna need uh, in the plane. I think I'm gonna pack like some snacks there and maybe a book. No, I'm not taking a book. I'm not gonna read a book. Uh, definitely some chargers and, um, and maybe my headphones. Yeah, just stuff like that, my passport. Yeah, so all the necessities, so to say. Well, you know, I've just finished packing my bag and it's full. There is like literally no space here. It's just full. So, I well, I'm not definitely not buying any souvenirs there, so I don't need like extra space, but I hope I'll be able to repeat my masterpiece on the road back. So we are headed to the airport right now. I'm like freaking out because I hate flying, especially flying for like six hours. <laughs> Mark slept for like three hours. So he's going to deliver me to the airport and uh, probably he's going to sleep a lot at home afterwards. <laughs> just arrived to Irkutsk and we're heading to our hotel and the hotel is like super convenient because you can see the airport behind me and uh, this is a hotel it's like right in front of the airport very cool planning to to Burhan apparently. <laughs> I have no idea how to call this one in English. So it's like some alcoholic beverage and uh, I'm not gonna drink this one. I'm just gonna like spray it around me and I have to make a wish first. Am I doing it correctly? Like that? I think so. It was a very long wish. Can 
I just like spill it? <laughs> it's it's, it's, it's all for go goddess. Okay, let's just like this. Woo! That's beautiful. <laughs> Тесто тяните, не бойтесь, оно не пройдется, оно эластичное. Мы специально выдерживаем тесто примерно час, примерно полтора часа для того, чтобы там выработать. These are dumplings. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, спасибо. Kind of dumplings. I think it's really hot. It's really hot. Спасибо. But you do it like professional, you know? Most of it is on the plate now. First time I see this beautiful Baikal lake, it looks amazing, and we're gonna probably see the ice too. And this is the the Baikal Brodyaga. You can see him over there. We just climbed this little mountain, and it was my first hiking experience here. It was amazing. Almost fell. <laughs> so that's our room. It was so nice of them to provide us with holy corn and uh, two beds, a big one and a small one. I guess the winner is gonna take the big one. <laughs> so basically all of the things that we need and the cool bathroom too. <laughs> I saw the perfect piece of ice. Look at this wonderful shape, it's like a diamond. <laughs> oh my eyes! It's really cold. again <laughs> i think all my videos are gonna have this this phrase in them but it's insanely beautiful and behind us is also very beautiful we need to find some solution it's astonishing it's amazing it's stunning it's unbelievably amazing <laughs>
piece of ice. It's a heart for my followers. I should have drawn like thumbs up. Because you need to give me thumbs up for this video. <laughs> and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Like you can see me through the glass. It's like <laughs> Alice through the looking glass. Is that the name of the book? Whoa. We're ice skating on the biggest ice skating rink on the planet. Am I correct? It's the biggest one. I think so. Yeah, it's supposed to be the biggest one. I'm terrified like hell, but it feels amazing to be here. So I'm just standing. Later I'm gonna attach a video of myself skating there, so you can actually see me doing that. And now I'm just trying to keep myself on my feet standing. It's amazing. I wonder how much this one costs. Do you cost like 750 like the socks? It's not enough. Too cheap for him, yeah? Yeah. Maybe it costs like all the socks. <laughs> and the regular set. Oh my god, I have a toy. So we've just finished playing our games and apparently I think our team lost, but it doesn't matter. Although to some people it does. <laughs> and uh, we had lots of fun and we've been through difficult situations like on the verge of death and damage and injury. But we survived and uh, in my heart we won because our team's name was Victoria. And victory means uh, Victoria. <laughs> <laughs> been here for how many days now three i guess so and we're still like astonished by all the different types of ice that can be found here it's like really different every place you see it has some some amazing detail which you haven't seen before and that's just so wonderful so today is the middle of our tour and uh it's slowly coming to the end and I feel very sad because we've just started, <laughs> so it's like really weird. And uh, I decided to share a little bit like how I decided to, to go here in the first place. So basically it all started uh, when I was traveling to Moscow by train in the end of December. and. Uh, I was sitting uh, in one room with uh, three different people and it turned out that all of us really loved traveling and one girl was really telling a lot of stories about her trip to Baikal and I always assumed that it was like a very expensive tour and completely unaffordable uh, but uh, I started googling the information and understood that it is kind of pricey but, uh, but I can do that <laughs> so it's like really possible uh, but then I thought like maybe next year maybe not this year because uh, if you want to see the winter by call, uh, which I did, so I really wanted to see the ice and uh, uh, not the lake in the summer. Uh, so I thought that it's too soon 
so it's probably impossible. And then uh, I saw uh, one of my favorite bloggers, I'm gonna link uh, her page in the description below, uh, she posted um, stories in her Instagram page that she was gonna go to Baikal and uh, she tagged uh, the agency which she was going to use, so I decided to follow them. And then uh, in a couple of days later, this agency posted uh, this blogger that I like and said, like, if you want to go with her, you should text us and we'll tell you the exact dates when she's going so you can go together. And I thought, like, hmm, that could be a great opportunity for me to meet her because I really like her blog and I've been following her for like seven years. So I texted them and uh, the, the guide, like, she texted me the dates and I told her that I'm doing that. <laughs> so. I found some savings that I had and uh, I paid uh, I paid the money so and then I invited my student which I'm really grateful to uh, because uh, it's uh, it's been an amazing journey and I hope it stays like this <laughs> I hope I'm not bothering her too much while making this video <laughs> so it, it is really amazing how everything came together and it seems so perfect right now like the perfect timing couldn't be better and the weather is so amazing. I mean, I still can't believe this, how lucky we are because uh, uh, like Sasha, who's not my student, who's the blogger that I like, uh, she's been here for three times and she says it's the best time uh, for her because uh, she has never seen such beautiful eyes and uh, no sunsets like this and just the weather is perfect too. It's sunny every single day and it's kind of warm. So I don't feel cold at all. So yeah, I'm like amazed and amazingly grateful for all the things uh, and the opportunities that we have here. arrived to, to the Love Peak, if I translate this one correctly, I need to google this afterwards. And uh, I can say that all the way it was really worth it, because the, the view is just... Which word I haven't used yet? Wonderful. <laughs> I think I've used this one, but probably I've already forgotten. Fascinating. Because uh, uh, we're gonna watch the sunset, which is gonna happen very soon probably, because the sun is already like hidden the, the top of this mountain, the top of this hill. I spent too much time looking at the sun directly, <laughs> now my eyes hurt. But yeah, I don't know how we're gonna get down though, because uh, it was it was pretty steep slope. <laughs> Can you see the stones? It's like really see-through. True. <laughs> Doesn't feel good, but I'm gonna do this again. <laughs> Yeah. 
Просто потрачено. You can say it in English, you know. I just stole my mittens. Не мои варежки. Мячик, бери, пошли. Где мячик? Что это бол? I hope you don't mind that I'm talking in my sunglasses right now because uh, I need to protect my eyes from the sun. It's very strong today. So I, I can't even tell you how grateful I am for this opportunity to, to be here and to see all this beauty. And it was totally worth it. Because at first, like I told people that I spent like this amount of money on the tour to Baikal. And all the people told me that I could have gone to, to Turkey, to Egypt. Uh, to Sri Lanka, like to Thailand, to like whole lots of other countries for this amount of money and uh, I don't disagree, it's true uh, but you know, I feel like a trip to Turkey, it's a cool idea but it's not an experience so it's more about like chilling, having fun but this kind of trip, it's more about adventure it's uh, a type of uh, feeling, emotions and experience that you will never forget in your life and it teaches you so many things and uh, it broadens your horizons like so, so much because um, it really makes you understand that our nature can be like so different and there are so many wonders, so many magical moments hidden in it. So this trip made me feel 100% sure that traveling is the best part of my life because um, really traveling made me the way I am and uh, it made me a person who's very tolerant and um, it made me more grateful and uh, it also made me understand that I will never be able to see all the wonders that this planet has for us but I have already seen a lot of them and uh, it's amazing that I got a chance to do that so my plan for the future is to continue earning money and spending it on trips like this because it's an unforgettable experience and I wish everybody to visit Baikal once and just to travel more because uh, I remember my favorite blogger, one of my favorite bloggers, okay, Ruslan Nusachev once said that, you know, like when you go somewhere for five days, for you it feels like when somebody goes, you know, like when one of your friends uh, goes to a trip for five days and you stay at home, it feels like it's just five days, so it's like nothing. But when you are traveling for five days, it feels like a different lifetime. Uh, like you, you've had a completely different alternative life. And it doesn't feel like five days to you. It feels like a year. <laughs> and uh, I think uh, trip, trips can also prolong our life. And uh, they can make us like want more and dream more, dream big, and not be afraid of this. So it was a very deep, deep talk. <laughs> But yeah, made me feel very, very grateful. This place is truly amazing.
really planning to stay in tonight because it was really cold and I just really wanted to get under the warm blanket but the owners of the perfect hotel we're staying in they decided to invite us over for a beautiful night on the ice next to the bonfire uh, with some hot wine which I'm not drinking because I told you today that I'm against alcohol and alcohol ruins people's lives but fortunately we're gonna drink some tea and actually I feel jealous of the people who can drink hot wine because it looks amazing and it has a lot of fruit in it and I think people are going to really enjoy their time including me hopefully Видео будет для фотофетишистов, видимо. Mm -hmm. Здрасте. Шишку хочешь? Ну, 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 are you just watching? How can you like something until you watch it? Of course, sorry. Because it's you. <laughs> you. You always like me. Yeah, I do. Even after the trip. <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> <laughs> You're not gonna cancel our concerts. <laughs> I'm trying to learn something new. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Yeah. In the shape of a Is it cone? I think it's a cone. Looks nice. Yeah, well. Продолжение следует... 